To my immediate left here is Janice Spindell, who's been a New York matchmaker for upwards of 21 years. And to her left is Aisha Haki, who is the publisher of BB Magazine, one of the leading, if not the leading, South Asian premier bridal magazine in the United States, and has been around for about 15 years, so hats off to you for being able to do that. And it's not only a bridal magazine, but she also covers off on South Asian lifestyle as well as South Asian fashion. To her left is Lydia Bonilla, who is, um, I want to call her banker by day, and, but she also has a business that's quite interesting. She's the founder of something called Moi Life, and it's a double entendre because it's not only what her nickname was growing up, but it's the name of her company, and she's going to tell you a little bit more about that. I don't want to spoil the surprise just yet. And then Allison, I'm so excited to have you on this panel. She's a late ad. She came on as of uh, Lady Drinks last or two Thursdays ago, but she had such a great message in that she is a woman's sensual coach. She does one-on-one -on -one counseling with women who may feel that they're stuck in their professional or personal lives. What is it that women are doing right when it comes to dating, and what are they doing wrong? How much time do we have? <laughs> Give me the Cliff Notes version. I am not only New York, I am global. So I have been coined as America's top matchmaker. So if anybody knows anybody that's single in any other parts of the United States or out of the country, you can totally feel free to tell them to go to my website and email me. So what do women do wrong and how much time do I have? Well, my clients are the men. So to say the very least, I own the minds of men, I know what they want, and I do know what women do wrong. Most women tend to be a little bit on the side of needy, high maintenance, and drama queens. And those are three negative adjectives that men want absolutely nothing to do with. I actually had an amazing panel last night of men and women, and the women actually got to ask six awesome men of all ages, all the questions, and people were completely blown away by, wow, I'm doing that? I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to sort of open it up and ask some women some questions on what they would do. We're going to get to the Q&A part the at the end for sure. Okay, I'll save the best stuff for last. But one of the deal breakers, if you're on a first, second, or third date, most women will tend to talk about their exes, whether it's an ex-boyfriend, ex-fiance, or ex-husband. Guess what? You're in the present. You hope to go into the future with this man, so why would you talk about the past? Not a good thing to do. Don't talk about your ex. Do not get into a discussion about politics. And if a man tells you you look nice, don't say, yeah, but my hair doesn't look right or I, don't feel, I feel fat in this dress. Say thank you. Men like women to exude confidence. That's basically, it's, it's not what women are doing wrong per se, but women must, must, must be confident. If you ask me the number one thing that a man wants in a woman, other than looks and all of that, it's confidence. It's a big turn on to men that women exude confidence and women must be feminine. You know what, ladies? There's two million more single women in the tri-state area alone than there are men. So if you don't put your best foot forward, it's a very competitive world out there. You are going to have to step it up a level if you're in the dating world. And one of your big mantras is to be visually sensitive. I'm trying to be nice about that, but I've coined the four Bs. Ask me what men are looking for. Very simple. Beauty, brains, body, and balance. And that basically means, as three of the men said last night, they want a woman that's well-groomed. This was a little heavy, but they want a woman that's clean. How weird is that for a man to say? But guess what? You know, I've seen it, I've been there, and I've done that. There are some women that their hygiene is not wonderful, whether it's bad breath, whether it's gray or yellow teeth, whether it's not clean hair, whether they don't smell good. Men pay attention to details. It's really, really, really important for you to take care of yourself. First question out of a man's mouth. My clients are the men, so the first thing I have to do, what do you think the first thing they ask for is? Send me a photograph. 
Not what's her name, not what does she do, not how old is she, not where did she go to school. Send me a photograph. And if they're not visually attracted to her, then it's over before it starts. So men are visual, and they do fall in love through their eyes. I'm just the messenger, but it is what it is. It is a man's world out there. So if women don't step it up a level and make sure that they have a great smile, your smile is your calling card, use it. Smile and just say hello. I empower women and I motivate women clearly to go out there and be proactive and do whatever it takes. If you're single, do something about it. It's no different than if you were forever, for whatever reason, laid off at work. You would have to do whatever it takes to get a job, wouldn't you? Whether you went on monster.com, whether you had a budget to go get corporate clothing, whatever it is, you would do whatever it takes to get a job because you have rent or a mortgage to pay. Well, if you want to get into a relationship and get married, then make it happen. The other thing that women don't do, and I'm looking at all of you, is that when you find out there's a friend of yours who's single, introduce your lovely friends to one another. Girls in New York don't do that, and I that's think that's true. really, really rude that's because true. you might not be interested in him, but that doesn't mean she won't be interested in him. Men were brought up by their mothers as gentlemen. Do not have a fear of approaching a man and saying hello. They will never, ever be rude. I've surveyed for my second book over 500 men throughout the country. One of those men could have been your future boyfriend, fiance, husband. Men will smile, men will make eye contact, and then nobody does anything. How, if you are successful and five guys do smile back at you, how is that power? How is it power for you or them? Well, I'm only talking about me. <laughs> well, it's very simple. You are a confident, gorgeous woman who had the confidence to go up and start a conversation with him because you're smart enough to know that men are intimidated by gorgeous women and they think you're going to bite or you're going to reject them and then they're going to go back into their cocoon.